Do you ever find yourself constantly checking emails or tracking numbers or text messages to stay on top of all of your incoming parcel deliveries? Well, simplify that process by using Aftership, a clean, unobtrusive parcel tracking application that makes staying on top of all of your deliveries an absolute breeze. And just like that, 2020 is nearly at its end, but we've got one final episode of the top Android app. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Panorama Crop is an app that allows you to split up one photo and create these really fun swipeable posts for Instagram. So if you're not sure what a swipeable post is, well, here's one that I created on Instagram a little while ago, where as you swipe the photo over, it becomes apparent that it's actually just one continuous photo. It's a really fun way to spice up an Instagram post, but rather than spending hours pre-planning this effect in your photo editing software, you might as well just use an app like Panorama Crop to achieve the effect in seconds. Oh, and if you're not yet following me over on Instagram, use the link down below to do so. I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers before the end of 2020, which might seem like an impossible task, but hey, with your guys' help, we might just be able to do it. Wallow is a minimal yet creative wallpaper app that shifts the color of the wallpaper depending on the time of day. And yeah, that's kind of it. There's really not a lot to it and there ain't a whole heap of settings to change either. But again, for a clean yet adaptable wallpaper, this one's definitely worth a shot. Now this is a paid app, but the developer has been kind enough to give me 20 promo codes that I'll be releasing over on my Instagram stories in the next week or two. So make sure that you're following me over there to have a chance at claiming one of those codes. Now, if you're a heavy WhatsApp user, then WA Box is definitely an app that you should check out. It basically gives you a range of tools and functions that enable you to take WhatsApp as an application to the next level in terms of user experience. You're able to view deleted messages, you can fake a chat or call if that's something you're into, and you can even use their walk and chat feature, which essentially dials back the transparency of the WhatsApp screen and places your camera's view in the background so that even as you use the app, you can keep a track of where you're walking. There's a bunch of other cool features as well, all wrapped in a tidy design. Auto notification is an app that allows you to perform a few different functionalities, but the feature I was really impressed by was a handy piece of functionality it added to Gmail notifications. So normally when you receive an email notification from Gmail, you get two buttons for quick actions, delete and reply. But with auto notification, you can customize those buttons and add a whole host of different options. The most popular of which is the mark as red button. As I said, there are other features the app offers as well, including hiding persistent app notifications or managing notification categories. But I'm a simple guy and all I want for Christmas is a mark as red button. So this app is one that I enjoy. So you may or may not realize, but a lot of the links you click online are actually tracked. It's not that big of a thing, but when it comes to sharing these links with others, it can end up looking kind of messy. Well, CleanShare is a ridiculously simple app that essentially removes any of that tracking info that gets tacked onto the back end of a URL. Once installed, anytime you want to share a link, you tap the share button, select the clear share app, and then a new untraceable link will be generated, ready to be shared wherever necessary. Visual Timer is an app that provides perhaps the most simple functionality on the list today, but it's one I can see a lot of people appreciating. So if we're being fair, the stock timer apps on our phones, they're all a little bit lackluster and they all end up looking very much the same, even across different Android skins. So Visual Timer, as the name suggests, visually enhances this otherwise simple task. Aside from that, you can add presets to access particular timers with set looks really quickly and easily. You can change the direction of the clock and I kind of just dig how the timer in this app looks and animates. I'm a fan. If you fancy yourself a cinematographer or photographer, then Light Meter is an app you might want to have in your arsenal. Like an actual light meter device, the light meter app allows you to accurately measure the amount of light present in any given scenario. This allows you to understand the correct exposure settings that you should be using on your camera in that exact environment. The app uses your phone's camera and light sensor to capture pretty accurate readings and it also features a range of other tools as well, such as a white balance measurement tool, a depth of field calculator, plus a bunch more. The design of the app does leave a little bit to be desired, but you can't argue with the functionality itself. Now I've featured a version of the Gcam port in the past, but the latest update brings a slew of new supposedly pixel exclusive features. And so I just had to showcase this update in today's video. If you're unfamiliar with the Gcam port world, this is essentially a ported version of the Pixel camera app made available for other non-Pixel devices. 
And as we all know, because a large chunk of why photos from Pixel phones look so good is down to the software, well, using this mod on your phone means you can end up with images that look very similar to those taken on Pixel devices. So with that said, this particular Gcam port features the usual suspects such as Night Sight, Portrait Mode, and Google's Photosphere and Panorama modes. But then you also get new features such as Auto Night Sight, Night Sight Portrait Photos, the new Low Storage Mode. And even though it's not actually yet working on my OnePlus 8T, you can at least see the new stabilization menu when you're in video mode. Hopefully this will actually work in a future update. But aside from all of the fun features, even just having Google's processing on a non-Pixel device can do wonders for your images. So it's well worth trying out. And finally, Hello Weather is a weather application that I've featured in iOS videos in the past, but the Android counterpart is just as good, so it gets a feature in today's episode as well. It's an app that makes checking the weather easy, but also visually appealing. You've got beautifully designed graphs and stats available to really get informed on upcoming weather changes. There are colorful icons throughout, and whilst you do need to upgrade to access premium features like radar and smart forecasts, there's still a heap available within the free version that make it worth your time. But that is it. As always, if you enjoyed the video and you appreciate this style of content, then a sub would be incredible. I'm trying to hit 200,000 subscribers before the end of the year, so with your help, we might be able to do it. Aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.